welcome back to my channel and a little mini vlog it's been a little while since i've posted anything in fact i think it might have been over a year um but we haven't really had much to post about things have been going on in the background i have got some other vlogs that i want to edit and post but at the moment i just there is all still a little bit too raw to be able to post it However, we won't go into that on this um, because today is the first day in 10 months that I'm actually taking myself down to go and see my horse on my own. And I'm so excited. I actually cannot wait. Um, I picked up my mobility car a couple of weeks ago, which has got hand controls. So it means I can actually take myself down to go and see Rio. So I am going to take you along for the journey of my first time seeing my horse on my own in 10 months. So very, very brief, and it will be brief because otherwise this intro is gonna be absolutely ridiculously long. Um, last year, July last year, I got admitted to hospital, completely unhorse related. This is nothing to do with Rio. He has been amazing, bless him. Um, I got injured elsewhere and unfortunately got admitted to hospital, spent four and a half months in hospital, I've ended up in a wheelchair, which I'm undergoing rehab for. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what's been going on with me. And then unfortunately, Rio went down with colic in December last year and had to have life-saving surgery there will be a vlog on that at some point when i can actually edit it but i tried to do it the other night and i just cried because all those feelings just came flooding back and i'm just like it's just it's it's too it's too early it's too raw but so far touch wood um he is doing well so far we his rehab is going well we are now trotting on the ground so yeah, so you're gonna see a little bit of that today, a little bit of me taking myself. Um, I might try and, I'm not quite sure how it worked, but I might try and video how I load the chair, if that works. If you see it, then it's because I've managed to somehow video it. But if not, yes, welcome to us going down to see Rio on my own for the first time. So I will see you when we get there. Locked, loaded and ready to go. Everything is over there. Your man's in the back somewhere. Just about to see him. I'll see you when we get there. And we've arrived. Still feels very, very weird. And I literally am. I'm, well, I'm not completely on my own. I have got... Little man, where's he to? Oh, where he is. Where is he? There he is. I have got a little man with me for company. Um, but yes, this is officially the first time in 10 months I have taken myself down to see my horse. My plan is to do some groundwork with him. Um, the girls down the yard are amazing because um, he is, I don't know if I've said it already yet, he is on full livery without the addition of like riding, exercise, etc better for me it's better for him focus on my rehab i can focus on his anyway yeah as i said i wasn't going to try and go into that too much today um but the girls are amazing and i have been told before like if i come down anytime and i'm stuck struggling with something just give them a shout if they're around so yeah hopefully we won't need to and hopefully all will go well and yeah i will see you when we get in and see the boyo it's yeah oh i actually want to crap i'm not I'm not going to cry. This is a vlog I'm not going to cry in because I've got, I said the previous, I've got some others that I want to edit and post, but I can't because I just can't edit them. Um, these are happy tears though. <laughs> these are happy tears. I've actually driven myself down to see my horse. So I'm going to stop blabbering. Let's get out and go see the boy, eh? Hey bud. What is that funny face you're pulling? Hey. I mean, actually on our own. 
yeah look at that 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 bottom lip is droopy are you a bit chill you a bit chill are you you a bit chill you just had your lunch up your tea that's why that's the boy happy all set up with his equilibrium massage pad on pre-work training he's happy he's munching away on his haylage i'm gonna go and set up a couple of poles just keeping it simple today as i am here on my own be your little angel aren't you mate so i've just come in taking this rug off put the pad on all in this contraption yeah he's a little star right mommy best go set some poles up and actually do some work with you but she's just gonna be all day all yeah, day making a fuss of you i don't have how to set myself channel for i decided do this today because I decided just not that I would put the buggy on charge yesterday. But it's good because it's now got full charge, it's been charging all night and it is being ground, it's fully charged. But now, <laughs> afterwards, I've got to get the buggy and the wheelchair back to the stable. We'll uh, see how that one goes. Oh, the super buggy! It's gonna go set a couple of poles up. Nothing exciting, literally just a couple of poles on the floor in the circle just to add into the lunge session. I mean, we are very, very, very lucky to have this at our yard as well as an outdoor. I nearly went in the outdoor because it was so warm, but nah, <laughs> I'm staying indoors because that wind's got a bit of a bite to it. number two i'm so thankful that this uh i can get into this tap room it's like so much easier
Right. Locked by you bearing to go, Rio? <laughs> He's like, hmm. Still a bit sleepy after your massage, aren't you, mate? But we are lo locked, loaded in the school. Only to do a bit of work. Actually, wasn't too bad. I was a bit worried about tacking up, taking longer than it did because normally I've got my other half or somebody outside passing me the stuff in, so I don't have to have it all in the stable. But I just put it all in there with him, and <laughs> no surprise, he was an angel. Here we are. Right, Should do some work. Yeah. So here we're using our amazing equine balance bands, which I bought over a year ago, and they are amazing. If you want to get your own, you can use code Becky to get 10% off. I'll pop it in the description. When you're sorting the poles out. <laughs> I was like, I went to move that one with him on the end of the lunge line and realised he hadn't moved. So I was like, all right, just stay there. <laughs> you right there, bud? <laughs> you're going to sleep. He's going to sleep. Mate, I'm sorry to tell you, you've got 10 minutes on the other rain yet. <laughs> Report, he has slightly moved, but that was only because I moved here so he wanted to be facing me. <laughs> He's still keeps looking, he's dozing off. Mate, should we get this last 10 minutes done before you actually fall asleep? <laughs> Mummy's very happy with you. Yes, she is. <laughs> He's just worked really hard. He's just so, such a laid back horse. Anyway, successful first session of doing him on my own from the chair. And he was like, I'm just going to hide behind you, Mum. So um, I'm also going to try something new today because, again, I'm here on my own and it's either put him away come back in again, put the poles away, or let him loose and put the poles away. I mean, the door's shut up there, so he can't go anywhere. He didn't really go anywhere a minute ago, so we'll see. Should we let you off when mummy put the poles away? I mean, look, look at that face. But I wouldn't melt, to be fair. But I wouldn't melt today. He has been a little star. We've got an itch. 
<laughs> so, yeah, the buggy comes in very handy. Just do not break the bridle. Right. Should we get these? Ah, ah, ah. No. <laughs> right. Should we get these poles away? Should we? Should we get the poles away? Get you away. My mummy better go home and have some dinner. No. I say dinner. <laughs> Brunch. No. Whatever between lunchtime and tea time is, that's, that's what, what, what mummy will be going for. He's just gone for a mooch to smell the poo. Fair enough. <laughs> so that's all the poles put away. And I suspected, I don't think he would do anything if I let him off. All he's done is literally mooched on up to the door, which I'm now sniffing a bucket full of poo. So I'm going to go and grab him now, put him away, and then go off and get my lunch. But I was safe to say my first trip to the yard on my own has been a success. Yes, I am stupidly excited because after 10 months of not being able to do this, he's now quite inquisitive at the agility stuff. But yeah, after not being able to do this for 10 months, this is like amazing so he's now inquisitive with the quit the agility stuff so i better go in them grab him <laughs> you're just now smelling more of poo aren't you it's like yeah come on then gorgeous boy right mate so you know when we go to a show if you see any of this and you spook you um just made a rod for your back mate because he's literally just had his head in the tunnel i mean mate I don't think any of it fusses you, does it? No. Should we go and untuck you? Yes. Annoying that I didn't put the camera up quick enough to actually see you playing with the, trying to play with the agility stuff, but yes. You've been a little angel for mummy on her own, haven't you? As always. Like that it is in and done car is loaded i'm still quite slow at this because i'm kind of finding my way around of best way to do it but we're in oh what a day so i thought i would do the ending now i've had such a lush day obviously been down 
to do the boy out on my own and then I've actually just on the way back because it's on the way home from the yard just been in to see my sister and brother-in-law and my gorgeous little niece and now just stopped at field to let Bobby have a quick run this evening so I just thought I'd do a quick well it's not a debrief because obviously yeah you'll see in the video he's been an absolute bloody angel and he, I just cracked on and got on with it and yeah I am so so proud of him I could not wish for better behavior from him today um and I'm just really happy because I have got my independent or well, some of my independence back and I've got that time back with my boy so yeah definitely big smiles all around today um hopefully a lot more days like this to come and hopefully in the not too near distant future um hopefully some of him being ridden and hopefully me on board but yeah i just wanted to sort of <clears throat> mark this journey because today because this is a big big step this is a really big step um from july 19th july 2023 up until today which is what are we 7th 8th of may 2024 i've not gone down and seen done my horse let alone seen him um so yeah i am so happy i'm so chuffed with how he went in his rehab i'm so chuffed with how he was in general and it's just been an amazing day so me and bobs are going to sign out here aren't we bobs bobs what's this come here he's like i'm in the back come here he's like he's, he's like waiting very patiently for me to put let them out in the field so yeah over and out for now and hopefully there will be some more vlogs to come this was just uh i don't think it's going to be too many actually because i think i've got a lot more footage than what i intended again but yeah hopefully there will be more to come and yeah we look forward to sharing our journey back to health for both of us with you so yeah over and out take care don't forget like comment subscribe all that jazz um because yeah we're going to try and try and do a little bit more um obviously we're quite active over on our instagram which you would have seen our handle at the beginning of the vlog and i will put it somewhere here now as well um if you're ever in a situation where you've been need to go through kiss and spine rehab colic rehab whatever um or just general support need somebody to reach out to yeah we're there we've been through it we're coming out the other side of it um and yeah touch wood all will be well so over and out Thank you for watching and we will see you all very, very soon.